charges dropped against woman who laughed at Trump nominee Sessions. Reuters, a peace activist who laughed at then-U.S. Senator Jeff Sessions during his confirmation hearing to become U.S. Attorney General will no longer be prosecuted on charges of disrupting a session of Congress and demonstrating at the Capitol. The U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia filed court papers on Monday, notifying a judge her office was dropping its case against Desiree Farouz, a children's librarian. Farouz had faced up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine if she were convicted on both charges at trial. She belonged to Code Pink, an anti-war group that often stages protests against politicians. The group accused federal prosecutors of overreaching and wasting money on the case. We hope they will scale back this massive overreach and that the success we just saw in Desiree's case will encourage more people to protest in the halls of Congress and on the streets, Code Pink said in a statement on Tuesday. A representative for the U.S. Department of Justice declined to comment, and no one at the office of U.S. Attorney Jesse Liu of the District of Columbia could be reached late on Tuesday. Farouz laughed during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing in January, after a lawmaker's asserted Sessions treated all Americans equally. It was at the confirmation hearing for Sessions, who was then a Republican senator from Alabama and was later confirmed to become U.S. Attorney General. Farouz shouted, this man is evil pure evil as police led her away. A jury found Farouz guilty in May of disrupting a session of Congress and demonstrating on Capitol grounds. But a judge for the District of Columbia Superior Court overturned the guilty verdict in July and ordered a new trial. Chief Judge Robert Morin found it was unclear whether Farouz was convicted for laughter or for speaking out as she was removed, Farouz's attorney, Samuel Bogash, said at the time. A second trial for Farouz had been scheduled for November 13, but Morin cancelled it after prosecutors dropped the case. This version of the story corrects gender of U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia in second paragraph, reporting by Alex Dobyzinskis in Los Angeles, editing by Grant McCool.